What's going on, everybody? Harrison Family Values here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, tonight's conversation. No, not what I'm talking about tonight. I'm talking about the podcast, that the, the show with um, Ace Metaphor and a, f a few of the people that he had panel guest discussions with. Um, uh, it's been coming up on my timeline. I, my, my, my algorithm is filled with relationship content, which I appreciate because I am more like a relationship counselor, marriage counselor, marriage coach, things like that. So I, I appreciate that my timelines are filled with that kind of content. Um, and there's a video that, that came up, right? Where they, a woman asks about a man being sensitive and there was a response by Trip Fontaine, which was actually pretty brilliant. Uh, let's play this real quick. How do you deal with a man that is more sensitive than you? It, it gets strange for me in conversations like these when we talk about one party being more sensitive or more soft. And a lot of times that, that kind of boxes men in. And it, it's alarming because if a man can't be sensitive and soft in his relationship, then where can he be? Like, I'm, I'm like, I, I, I don't know too many men that don't want to take their guard down with their old lady. Great point. Like, I don't, I don't want to have to come home and protect myself from you. Like, do you, do you know how, do you know what I got to go through out in the world? And then to have to come home and guard and tiptoe with you because I can't be vulnerable. Like, even when we use the word soft, bro, a man being hard all the time will destroy him. Get nice. you a man that got to be hard all the time and see how, see how he handle you. But a, the, a man has to find softness in himself to properly handle those parts of you. Em empathy is like a huge quality uh, uh, that, that's necessary for a healthy partnership. And in order to empathize, one almost has to see oneself. And if a man can't see himself in your emotions, if he can't see himself in, in, in your softness, then again, what do you think he's going to do? So when you mm, talk about not wanting point. a man that's more sensitive than you, that's you falling into training that cuts pieces of a man off. And then you complain uh -huh. about those pieces being missing when he show up at your doorstep. He brought that. <laughs> Brother Tripp brought that. I got absolutely zero disagreements there. He said some things that I do disagree with. He has. Trust me, he has. But he was absolutely right there. You women, many women, not you women, like all, but some women, many women too, uh, want a sensitive man. But then they don't want a sensitive man. <laughs> it's like, which one? You got, you got to choose one. Either you want a man who's sensitive or you don't. Because you thinking that a man should not be sensitive is, as he says, you being trained. And that training causes a detriment to your relationship. Everybody has sensitivities. Everybody. Everybody. And if a man cannot be vulnerable with you, it's going to cause issues. He's going to be hard with you. He's going to be hard with you. Pastor Keon Henderson, I think his name, uh, did a video similar to this. Like, like, hey, hear him out real quick. Let me just play this video real quick. When a man does not feel appreciated, he becomes a version of a man that he can give you and still survive. That version of him is silent, frustrated, sharp with his words, non-communicative. And I promise you, you will not like that version. Because he has to become something that he can survive in. And that's the point. That's the point. He can't be vulnerable with you. So he's got to become something that he can survive in this relationship, in that marriage. That's, that's the result of a man not being able to be vulnerable with the woman he chose. Because as Tripp said, if he can't be vulnerable with you, who can he be vulnerable with? And truth is, and I'm not saying that it's right, I'm not justifying it, but some men might want to step out on the marriage because they found somebody that they can be vulnerable with. They'll probably never marry them or leave you for them. But there's, there's, that's, there's that safety there. They can let their hair down. They can be soft for a moment. They can be soft for a moment. Even Incredible Hulk, I know it's fictitious, right? Even even Incredible Hulk. And you, you guys may say, well, it was the Black Widow. No, it wasn't the Black Widow. Even the Incredible Hulk was sought for Betty Ross. Vulnerable for Betty Ross. Your man should be 
the hardest guy out there, the hardest working, carry the load of the world for his family on his shoulder. But when it comes to you, he's got to be able to be vulnerable because and respected at the same time. Because if he's not, he'll become the man that Pastor Keon just described. And you won't like it. Peace.